The 20 Phantom X2 is a brand new boat in Smokercraft's family of North American anglers and is a West Coast style design. They're heavy duty. They're like tanks for the water, but they're a lot of fun. And something you'll notice right away on the Phantom is how high the windscreen is and how far forward it's pushed, which really opens up the cockpit back here. Gives you a lot of protection. So great for storage if you have an island cottage. Great for fishing. Historically, the American angler boats were actually made on the West Coast, in Oregon. But this new all-welded kit on the block is made in New Paris, Indiana, at Smoker's Home. It's heavy duty in build, not just appearance, with a .160 gauge aluminum on the bottom and .125 on the sides. And with a 58 gallon or 220 liter fuel tank, you've got the guts and the gas to go farther and do more. It's not a deep V style hull, but rather a padded V, meaning this Phantom is designed to ride on top of the water and not crash through the waves. And though it's designed to take a beating in big water, it's not simply utilitarian. Yes, there is the checker plating throughout, but the exterior paint is twice-baked urethane paint and the interior is speckle paint. It's pretty light for this size of boat, thanks to the all-welded design, and it shoots onto plane in under four seconds and reaches a top speed, as tested, of 46 miles per hour. With a 150 horsepower Mercury outboard, I found cruising around 30 to 35 miles per hour was perfect for the haul and power combination. Though that could change if you had a full load of gear, more power, or bigger chop to deal with. So Smokercraft's Phantom is a utilitarian boat, but it's well designed and it is very rugged. So starting from the gunnels down, they're wide enough to mount downriggers, but because you have the dual track system, you can mount the downriggers here. Nothing wrong with putting them here, but in my mind, the fewer holes you drill in a boat, the better. You got rod storage along both sides, you have a wash down hose here. You have battery access on either side of the live well. Extra one here you can mount for a kicker or a trolling motor. A live well with a cutout for your bait bucket, always nice. And this boat has the optional benches on either side. Now they fold down to give you space, but there's also storage underneath. As you can see, plenty of room for our life jackets with room to spare. Moving forward, we have in-floor lockable storage. And on either side, you have the adjustable bucket seats. Turn back, enjoy your time, sit forward, sturdy for your ride. Now, of course, you have that really high windscreen. You have another lockable storage here. And storage compartment on the port side. Underneath there's little ledges which are great to throw your hat if you need to. And the helm, again, like the rest of the boat, utilitarian. It gives you everything you need, but nothing more than you need. And up on the bow, even though the helm is pushed forward with that high wind screen, you still have good room up here, enough for two people to fish if you want. And you got more storage, you know, fish box, lockable, Storage right at the bow, could be used for an anchor, or whatever you like. And when you're ready to rock back home, you put in centerpiece, close the window, the secure latch, and you are ready to rock. When I first laid eyes on the 20 Phantom X2, I wasn't blown away, discounting it as just another utilitarian boat. But after spending a day on the water with it in Smoker's backyard in Indiana, I feel I owe it an apology. This is a fun boat to run, and it's packed with more features than meets the eye.